him. Y'all have seen uh, recently this this guy from Washington D.C. from D.C. His name and, and Glizzy. He been dissing like you know FBG Doug. He was trolling Sixty Third. It looked like he came on Sixty Third. I don't know if he was made that video or what, but he basically speaking on y'all friend like you know him. Rest in peace to the brother. And it's like he also you know just. You know, Chicago or whatever, but... Yo, I want to speak on this topic, man, because I want to break break the science down for you guys, okay? Aunt Glizzy, this really isn't about him specifically, but it's the, but this is about people similar to him, people who um are using his the method that he's using. He's using what I call the fifty cent method of getting on, and when I say getting on, I mean receiving exposure through the internet. You understand what I'm saying? Aunt Glizzy didn't make it as a rapper. He was associated with a real big rapper, this dude right here named Shy Glizzy from D.C. So if you don't know who Shy Glizzy is, maybe 10 years ago, he came out with a real big song. And he basically has a successful rap career. And Glizzy was a dude that was like a part of his clique. And, uh, you know, he's a street dude. And I guess he was uh, a part of Shy Glizzy's muscle. And then I guess since he was hanging with Shy Glizzy, he started rapping as well. He didn't really make it in the rap world. But he's very successful in the blogging world the internet world you know what i mean and what he does is he talks very reckless about individuals and stuff like that and um i just want to break it down scientifically so that you guys can understand the method that's being employed here it's called the 50 cent method a lot of people have studied 50 cents rise to fame a lot of people misuse the method but they attempt to use it in order to blow up on the internet you know it's, it's like a combination of using shock value. It's about being very direct against people that you don't like. Creating enemies and creating this perception that you're destroying these enemies. And what it does is it gets the eyeballs on you. You know what I mean? But the problem is 50 Cent actually had beef with people with, 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 with real enemies. People that he like was enemies with in real life. And he would go after individuals not in a random way, but in a surgical way. If you were supporting his enemies financially, he would go after you. Like if Fat Joe did a song with Ja Rule, he would go after Fat Joe because Fat Joe is helping Ja Rule financially by adding his brand to Ja Rule's brand and therefore creating more revenue for Ja Rule, which makes it harder for 50 Cent to win against him. So 50 Cent wasn't really reckless with his approach. He was surgical with it. He would destroy your system of support. He would destroy your revenue sources. That way he could completely annihilate you as competition. And he did it in an entertaining way. You know, you got guys like Aunt Glizzy who's seen that, who studied that, but they're misusing it. You know, I think it's sad to see a dude like Aunt Glizzy who probably experienced a lot of trauma in the streets. I know he lost a lot of friends to the streets. For him to be so thirsty and so desperate for internet fame that he's willing to go on the internet on platforms, basically a platform owned by the Europeans, YouTube, and make a name for himself by dissing deceased gang members from other cities that he never even physically saw with his own eyes except through the internet, I think it's sad. But I understand what it is, you know what I'm saying? Guys like him are desperate to get out the hood. They've been broke for a long time. They've been living in the hood for a long time. And YouTube is allowing them an opportunity to get out the hood. They got charisma. They got the ability to tell stories very well. They're very entertaining personalities. But instead of using that charisma for positive energy, they're using it for negative energy because they know that the negative energy is going to get the eyeballs on them. You know what I mean? And they think they're being like 50 Cent. They think that they're uh, str strategically making their way to the top by annihilating enemies you know what i mean and what they plan on doing is becoming famous through the bull crap creating a bunch of drama uh creating enemies and annihilating them hoping that that brings them a certain level of attention and then once they get that certain level of attention they're going to transition and be like a positive figure so the approach is very very reckless it's like you destroy everything and then you try to build something good after it you know five percent as we call it build and destroy but it, that's not the right way to do it. It's like you throw a bomb, you blow everything up, and then you try to build a church afterwards. You know what I mean? So a guy like Aunt Glizzy's plan is to get as famous as he can through bull crap by talking negatively about people. You know what I mean? And once he gets that thing, he's probably going to turn into like a positive guy. 
He's probably going to stand for the right thing. And he's probably going to try to help his community. You got to understand, man, some people are desperate to, 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 to change their life. They're desperate to get that money. You know, some people are willing to, to, to implement crazy strategies to get famous. And once they get famous, they'll become good people. But on that route to fame, they'll do whatever they got to do. They'll destroy in order to build. You know what I mean? Peace.